The new documents release show the Clinton Foundation executive, his name is Doug Band, sought diplomatic passports with the help of Hillary Clinton aide Uma Abedin during her time at the State Department. In an email, Abedin replied that she would work on it. A violation of federal law, by the way. The law states a diplomatic passport is issued to a foreign service officer or to having a person having diplomatic status or comparable status because he or she is traveling abroad to carry out diplomatic duties on behalf of the U.S. government. The only problem? Band is not a diplomat. He is just a Clinton friend. More on this. We bring in author and filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza. Dinesh, you have a problem with this revelation? It's very disturbing. It actually shows that for the Clintons, uh, they look at the government uh, as being an extension of their own uh, feathering of their own nest. And they use the apparatus of government uh, to gain favors for themselves and their friends, uh, to make money for their foundation and for themselves. Uh, and, you know, we've seen this kind of corruption in America at the local level before, but I've never heard of a secretary of state in a sense, renting out policy, renting out access in the shameless way that the Clintons have now done. It's unbelievable, and we're just getting these revelations now because these emails were put on an insecure, unsecure server, and this investigation has exposed all of these linkages, which you have chronicled and told people about before. Another linkage I think is worth bringing up, former President Bill Clinton using taxpayer money as a former president to subsidize the Clinton Foundation staff and a private server set up. Now, that Money's coming to him as a former president, but to use it for this, is that a problem? Well, let's think about this. The purpose of tax exemption is to encourage people to do charity. Uh, if you look closely at the Clinton Foundation, it's not a charity. It's a charity front. It reminds me of the foundation that the uh, Juan and Evita Perón set up in Argentina, which pretended to be to help people, but was really a way to accumulate influence and cash for the Perones. The Clintons, the same thing. Their foundation is essentially a bribery receptacle for the Clintons. That's what's enabled them to go from zero to $200 million, and right. their foundation to take in three billion dollars in donations so Dinesh when he when he says my and all his other uh, supporters say they do great the Clinton Foundation does great things for a, a great number of people you say that's not true I think when you look at the Clinton Foundation's own reports you know somebody builds a school in Haiti uh, the Clintons visit the school and then they list the school as something that they funded it's almost like they paid for the school it's not true so the way that the foundation structures its quote giving right. uh, it takes symbolic credit for things it never did all right I want to talk about Hillary's America you are re-releasing it to selected theaters this weekend is it because Hillary's back in the news for a, a lot of the things that you put in that movie well, it's partly just by popular demand, people calling the theaters and saying, hey, we want to see this movie. Uh, and so the theaters decided to re-release in 400 theaters this weekend. Uh, it's also because the issues in the movie are so timely. Trump is all over them. The whole sordid history of the Democratic Party, the Clinton Foundation and its rackets, it's all there. So it's a way for people to equip themselves as we go into this final stretch of the election year. Please see the movie this weekend. All right. And to find out, to find out more, we go to where to find out it's playing near me. The website is hillarysamericathemovie.com. Hillarysamericathemovie.com. You can plug in your zip code. It'll tell you where it's playing. So you got a lot of stuff coming out uh, and a lot do. Now we do understand, too, Dinesh, they're going to be releasing Hillary Clinton's schedules. Uh, they have to reverse themselves as a State Department. So we'll find out who is she meeting with and why. And, of course, that first came out with the AP is disturbing linkage. Dinesh D'Souza, thanks so much. My pleasure.